Well, that leads me to a question that I wanted to ask because a dear friend of ours wrote it in from autism will not define my son. She says, hi, Temple. My son is 10, nonverbal, but almost there. He is excelling at, uh, at school in math and he seems to really like it. She says, math was my worst subject in school, so I'm not sure where or how to guide him, especially as he grows older. What little, things- little can, harder what, math. There she goes. Don't but give she says, this crazy verbal math they have now. Get the old fashioned math books that are just all numbers. Not the okay. standard verbal stuff they have now. Old fashioned math books, dig them out of the attic somewhere. He'll okay. eat them right up. I don't understand. Algebra book, I use that for doorstop. But <laughs> you give it to some other kid. Yeah. It can open okay. a gigantic door. But okay. you don't know until you expose. Okay. That's so, the so, cause she says, what can I do to help increase his math skills and keep him excited about it? But mom's admitting that, you know, like this is me too. I gotta she be honest. She doesn't have to about math. Take him to the Wolfram Mathematica site. Tell me, say Wolfram. that slower. Wolf, 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 like the animal, the, yeah. the animal called a wolf. Ram, like a male sheep. Wolfram okay. Mathematica. It's a great website. I was just on it just the other day. I looked it up again. Okay. Wolfram look up, look Mathematica. Up fractals. Use Fractal. Google Images when you look this stuff up. Man, okay. you'll find the cool math stuff. You just have to expose them to it. Okay. You don't have to understand it. You give the kid an algebra book. You don't have to understand it. Just give it to him. <laughs> and, you and just see, have to find and it he, and give it to him. And he might use it as a doorstop too, then, but if he then doesn't. It's not for him. Then right, it's not right, right, right. But you don't know until you expose. Because when I look back at a lot of uh, big innovators that really, really like you take like Elon Musk here, he grew up in a in a in a in a family that had a workshop and tons of books. Thomas Edison was described as a hyperactive adult high school dropout, but his mom homeschooled him in a library full of books. There's been engineers that self-trained themselves with their grandfather's textbooks, but they were there in the bookshelf. So the kid could pull them out and look at them. See, again, it's amazing? exposure. So you yeah. don't know until you expose. And what worries me today is kids aren't getting exposed to enough stuff. Well, it's true, especially now, because while we're social distancing, I mean, I used to take my son to museums on a regular basis. That's why I was asking about the virtual- well, let's, do, let's, let's go, the, the, the museums all have websites now. Exactly. Let's, uh, let's go explore some of this stuff on the websites and let's do it maybe with somebody else while we're gonna go look at the Louvre or look at whatever. Yes. Hey, thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.